I was so clumsy while I was pregnant. How are you gonna stop yourself from falling? If you fall with your hands shackled to the front, you could hurt yourself, you could hurt the baby. I would consider that a small win, given the fact that what we really want is a more expansive administrative change to the policy. Right now, the changes look like they don't shackle people um, while they're in labor. We would like for them not to shackle people throughout the entirety of their pregnancy, prenatal, labor and delivery, postpartum out to eight weeks, also during lactation and breastfeeding. And that just doesn't make any sense when you have groups like the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists who have amazing resources and data on why the use of restraints is not necessary, what are the medical implications for the use of restraints, and why it's also a violation of human rights. When you're operating with inside of an institution that is problematic and really grounded in white supremacy, you need some other folk to come into that situation and say, hey, I'm looking at this differently from you, Let's think about it differently. I would like to see us go from administrative policy to legislative policy because it has more teeth, right? We know that. And we still have to be diligent. Implementation of a new policy does not always impact practice immediately. It has to be a culture shift. I think people would look at um, anti-shackling campaigns as prison reform, and we don't. We actually look at it as something that's in service to prison abolition. 